joining us we are going to celebrate Jesus Christ it is because of his death burial but most of all his resurrection that we have eternal life so we're going to trust in the Lord tonight we ask you to share the video it is so vitally important that the word of God go forth and as you spread the gospel as you share the videos as you have watch parties you are doing your part to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ you never know where your video is going to go and who's going to receive Jesus Christ as a result of you sharing. So share tonight. Thank you for joining us. We're going to start with Psalms 48, verse 1. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the side of the north, the city of our great king. Great is the Lord. We are here to celebrate Jesus Christ. Thank you again for joining us. Welcome our pastor, Pastor Alvin Simpkins. Oh, God is good. He loves you. Everything is going to be all right. Somebody say praise the Lord. Raise your hands and let's pray together. Father, thank you for all your goodness and all your mercy today. We come to worship and magnify your name because you are God all by yourself. Thank you for another day to worship. Thank you for another day to praise you. Thank you for another day to live and be alive. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. Would you welcome Minister Jordan Simpkins as he pray over our kids, our little ones, our babies, and our children, and our youth. Thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 14, but Jesus said, suffer the little children and forbid them not to come unto me for such is the kingdom of heaven. Heavenly Father, eternal God, we pray today, Lord Jesus, that, Lord God, you would bless our children, Lord, as they are growing, Lord, in this season, Father. You would bless our students, our young adults, those, Lord God, that our children, even young adults, Lord Father, that are grown children, Father. We pray today, God, that you would cover our children, Father. You said suffer the little children, Lord God. We should make room, Father, for the children in the kingdom of heaven to come unto you, Lord God. We pray today that you would cover them, Lord God. Keep them from any hurt, harm, and danger. Cover them in school. Cover them where they go, Lord God. Bless them, Lord Jesus. We ask today that our children would make good decisions to help them excel their lives forward in who you call them to be, Lord God. Bless them, Lord Jesus, to have the right friends, Lord God, the right acquaintances, Lord God, so that they can excel in every area of their lives, Lord Jesus. We honor you today, Lord God, that no hurt, harm, or danger, Father, would come unto them, place a hedge of protection around them, God. As they come and as they go, Lord Jesus, that they will be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, God. May favor, Lord Jesus, be the wind at their back, pushing them forward, Lord God, 
into their destiny, into the power that you have for them, into where you called them to be, God. We thank you, God, that their best days are still ahead, Lord God. No sickness or disease would destroy them, God. Nothing would break them down in their body, Father, but that you would lift them up, Lord God, to the greatness, Lord Jesus, that you called them to be, God. We glorify you for our children. We honor you for our children, and we give you the praise today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, God is good. He loves you. Then everything is going to be all right. Somebody say amen. What a great night it is to worship the Lord. What a great day it is to praise the Lord. What a great day it is to worship and magnify the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the great I am, the lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star. Somebody say amen. God, say amen. You have a song you guys want to sing? Let's go sing it and let's just praise the Lord for his goodness and all of his mercy. He is a good God and he loves you. Hallelujah. Every time I turn around, 
the Lord is blessing me. Take your Bible tonight. Thank you for being all. Thank you for being here. Just know that God is a good God. He loves you. Go with me to Psalm chapter 92. Psalms chapter 92, verse number 12. All the way down to verse number 15. Psalms 92, verse 12. All the way down to 15. My wife is going to read tonight. So glad that you're here. Let's read the word of the living God. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. Yes. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Yes. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord yes. shall flourish in the courts in of the our God. courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. Old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. Yes. To show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. None in him. The righteous shall flourish. Father, thank you tonight for your goodness and all of your mercy. Your word said the righteous man, the righteous woman, is their season to flourish. So we praise you. We honor you. And we worship you on this night. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody say amen. Amen. God is a good God and he loves you. The righteous shall flourish. But there's a very important thing there in that in, the, in, in that verses that they those that be planted in the house of the Lord. You see, you got to be planted in the house of the Lord. You got to be rooted and you got to stay planted in the house of the Lord to flourish, not just financially, but to flourish in your spirit, to flourish in the areas of your life where you need God's blessing. To flourish in knowledge and wisdom. To flourish in following God and being obedient. To flourish. And understanding that you will increase. If you'll just continue with the Lord and uh, stay in his house. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord. The Bible says that they shall flourish. Spiritually. You will flourish in the anointing. You will flourish in power. You will flourish in your faith in God. You will flourish with a heart that beats after God. You will flourish in every area of your life. Your health. Your love for God. You will increase in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. But you have to do what the Bible says in verse number 13. Those that be planted. In the house of the Lord. Stay with the Lord. And God will bless you. God will help you. To flourish. He said that you will flourish like a palm tree. Verse number 12. That you have to bloom where you are planted. You will flourish. Favor will come into your life. And God will help you. You will increase financially. But you have to stay planted in God's house. And watch his blessings come upon your life. It may not happen all at once, but they shall overtake you as you serve the Lord. And as you walk by faith and not by sight. The Bible says the righteous shall flourish. Time out for being broke. Time out for being sick all the time. You will have a love for God that will grow. According to verse number 12, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. It is the season for God to bless his people. Love the Lord and he will bless your life and he'll bless your family. But not only will, he, will you flourish with the Lord, he'll give you land and houses and bless your life. But you have to stay planted. Somebody put on this and better things. Don't give up and don't give in. Overflow will come into your life. Divine overflow, blessings and favor will come into your life. But you, the, the Bible said the righteous shall flourish. So get the sin out. Get all the wrong things out of your life. And just watch how God will increase you more and more and more and more. The righteous shall flourish. Bloom where you're planted. It's your season. And just know, as you obey the Lord, overflow will come into your life. The Bible says the righteous shall flourish. You are supposed to grow. 
and, and grow and, and expand and go further than where you are. Unrighteousness will not dominate your life, according to verse 15. Unrighteousness will not dominate your life. You must live in a state of divine obedience. But not only that, get all the things out that will mess up your life and understand that God wants you to be blessed. Who wants to be broke? Who wants to be down and out? Even in a time of famine, God is blessing his people. We just have to stay planted. The church is essential to the souls of mankind, to the souls of womankind. And we have to stay planted in the house of the Lord. The Bible says in Psalm 92 in verse number 12, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. But then it says in verse 13, those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. See, it's not just going to happen. You got to stay planted, stay rooted, stay anchored in God's house, and you will be blessed. And you will understand that God will increase you more and more, you and your children. So stay with the Lord. Don't let nobody turn you around. This is not the season to listen to your girlfriends. This is not the season to listen to your homies. This is not the season to listen to your bar friends. This is the season to listen to the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord tonight is the right that the Lord will bless the righteous. And the righteous will flourish. But they have to stay planted in the house of the Lord. Woo! You will flourish because he'll be the rock of your salvation. He'll be the rock of your salvation. And you have to know that he'll be the rock of your salvation and you will flourish and you will grow and you will increase. Somebody say increase. Somebody put it on the screen. Divine increase. Divine increase is on its way to your life. Why? The righteous shall flourish when they stay planted in the house of God. Stay planted in God's house. No matter what happens in your life, know that the Lord will take care of you. Know that the Lord, you may, be, you, you, you may be vulnerable and not able to come to God's house, but then get online. Get online. And then let us know that you're there. Get online. You'll say, find a way to get the word into your life. Find a way to make sure that your life is rooted and anchored. Find a way to make sure that your life is stable. And God will stabilize you. He says the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He'll flourish like a palm tree. If you will just stay with the Lord. Jesus said in Mark 10, 29. Jesus said in Mark 10, 29. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house, a brother and a sister, a father, a mother, a wife, or children, or lands for my sake. And the Gospels. But verse number 30, mark it in your Bible. He shall receive a hundredfold. Now in this life, Jesus says, houses, brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands. Underline the word. But people are going to talk about you with persecution. And in the world to come, you're going to have eternal life. You're not going to spend your life in a devil's hell. Hell was not made for you. Heaven was made for you and I. And so we are going to serve the Lord. But he said, I give you eternal life. Jesus does not want you and I to be broke. He does not want you to be down and out. He says, now in this time. Mark 10, 29. Somebody say, now in this time, now in this season, now in this hour, now in this day, now in this dispensation of time. God said, I'm going to bless your life. I'm going to give you houses. I'm going to give you land. But not only that, I'm going to let you flourish in the house of the Lord. He says, you will flourish in the house of the Lord. But look at verse number 14. Verse number 14 says that in old age will you bring forth fruit because you're going to flourish. When you get old, you're still going to be bringing forth good fruit. Oh, somebody say stay planted. 
Stay planted. Let me encourage you. Stay planted in the house of the Lord. Stay planted because the church is essential to your soul. So stay planted. And God will give you strength in your old days so you can get the job what? Done. In your old age. He says in verse number 14, Psalm 92, 14, they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. And they shall be fat and flourishing. Woo! God intended for his people to be fat and flourishing. Increase in every area of your life. Fat and flourishing. Your investments in the God's kingdom will be honored. And he will bless you with long life, health, and strength. So you can finish the task. So you can get the job done. So you can be all that God has called you to be. So that you can stand. So that you can go the distance. So that you can go forward. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Bloom where you're planted. Time to move out of that apartment. Time to buy your own house. Time to put God first. Time to get in and stay in. Time to get planted in God's house and watch the blessings of the Lord rest upon your life. This is not a time to jump and play and, and hang out. But now is the time to be faithful. Now is the time to, to, to tithe. Now is the time to give your offerings. Now is the time to support the work of the Lord. My Bible said the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Things are not working out. In there. Things are not turning out in your life right. You are turning it wrong. Don't blame God. Don't blame your mom. Don't blame your, your dad. Don't blame anybody. If things are not turning out right in your life, you are turning it wrong. You got to turn it wrong. You got to turn it right. Don't, don't go through life turning life wrong. Turn it right. When you turn it right, things will work out. The enemy will attack you, but he's not going to last. The Bible, the Bible is very clear. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. Let your people at the company talk about you. Let your boss do what he want to do. The Lord is going to bless you. You just know that the righteous shall flourish. My Bible said the righteous man or woman is going to flourish like a palm tree. They're going to grow and they're going to be blessed. And then the, as they flourish, the spirit of the Lord will lead them and guide them. The Spirit of the Lord will direct your life. The Spirit of the Lord will lead you. You will not wander and drift and be blown away with every wind or doctrine of the devil. You will have some stability in your life. You will have some, some anchor power in your life. You will be stable. Somebody put on the screen, stable. Be stable. The anointing flows to the stable life. If your life is up and down and, and here and out and here and there. No, that's not how the anointing works. The anointing works and comes upon the stable life, the faithful life. When you are faithful and you're stable, then God will anoint you, bless you, and you will flourish. Woo! You will flourish because the enemy is just trying to steal your soul. He's trying to steal your blessings, and he's trying to steal all the good things in your life. But you got to stay planted. Somebody put on the screen again, stay planted. Oh, stay in this season of COVID-19. You got to stay planted. You got to pray every day. You got to read your Bible every day. You got to trust God every day. You got to pray every day. Because tomorrow is not promised. So we got to trust the Lord today. The Bible says the righteous, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Woo! And there's no, but here's the key. How are they going to flourish? How are they going to, how are they going to grow like a cedar? How are they going to have favor? How are they going to have God's blessings in their life? How are they going to have God's miracle working power in their life? You have to do what verse 13 says. Psalm 92, 13. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Plant your life. Let me say it again. Plant your life. 
a house planted by the rivers of water, and God will bless your life. I love David in Psalms 1. He said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You got to stay planted. In this season, we must make it up in our mind. I'm going to serve the Lord. We're gonna make, we, we have to make it up in our mind. About a hundred people may not be able to come to church, but I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to get online. I'm going to pray. I'm going to get on noonday prayer. I'm going to connect with my fellow members. I'm going to stay with the Lord because the Lord and his church is essential in my life. It is one of the most important things in my life. I'm going to be planted by the rivers of living water in the house of the Lord. So I'm going to honor the Lord, and he's going to honor me. And God does not want you to be sad, be planted in God's house, and you will flourish. Be planted in God's house, and you will flourish. Be planted in God's house, and he will bless your life. Stay connected. Stay involved. Stay prayerful. And, and plant your life. Plant your life. Make it up in your mind that you are going to stay planted. And God will bless your life. God will help you. And God will lead you. And, and he will guide you. And he will, he will bless you. The Bible is very clear. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in their old age. They shall be fat and flourishing to show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no uprighteousness in him. The Lord want to bless your life. Don't be a Christian in today and out tomorrow. Get in and stay in. Be all in. All in to win. And every day, find a reason to give God thanks. Every day, find a reason just to tell him thank you. Every day, find a reason to praise him for what he has already done. Because the Lord's been good to you. And if you know that you have flourished in the house of the Lord, somebody ought to put on the screen, I'm blessed. Oh, Put it out there again. Somebody else put it out there. I'm blessed. Somebody else put it out there. I'm flourishing. There was a day in your life where you used to be broke. There was a day in your life where you didn't have a whole lot. There was a day in your life where you didn't have a decent car. There was a day in your life where all you had was a bicycle. There was a day in your life where you may have had just a scooter. There's a day in your life where you may have had just a moped, but the Lord has blessed your life. The Lord's been good to you. The Lord's blessed your children. The Lord bless you on your job. The Lord bless you with health and strength. Anybody know what I'm talking about? If you are flourishing, put it on the screen. I am blessed. Oh, put it out there. I am Bless. You ought to praise him. You ought to thank him. You ought to bless his name. Because the Lord's been good to us. In this season, I'm thankful just to be alive. In this season, I'm thankful just to lift my hand. In this season, I'm thankful that the Lord has kept me alive. Thank you for another day. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, we would have never made it. But I'm so glad that the Lord is on my side. The righteous shall flourish 
in the house of the Lord when they are planted. Plant your life. Plant your family. Plant your children. Plant your career. Plant your marriage. Plant your life in God's house and you will flourish. You will flourish. You will go a distance. You will last. You will be blessed. Somebody say, I am blessed. Oh, help me tonight. Say, I am blessed. Now give the Lord a hand clap. Thank you for all your help. In Jesus' name, I pray. Silence is betrayer. Silence is betrayer. The Lord's been good to me. And I want to thank him. I want to publicly thank him. And the Lord is on my side. Silence is betrayal. I got a reason to give God the praise. I got a reason to thank the Lord. I got a reason to clap my hands. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side. Thank you for all your help. Thank you for all your help. You will flourish. Your children will flourish. Your family will flourish. Your property will flourish. Everything you have will flourish. Because the Lord is our help. In Jesus' name I pray. If you want to flourish, put your hands together. And just give the Lord a praise. Oh, put your hands together. And just give the Lord a praise. We will flourish. Our church will flourish. Our homes will flourish. Our marriage will flourish. Our children will flourish. Our grandkids will flourish. We will flourish in the house of the Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Somebody help me put your hands together and just give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all your help. Thank you for keeping us alive in these last and evil days. Raise your hands with me on live stream. Raise your hands with me on Zoom. Put your hand all the way up. The Lord has kept you alive. They are saying by the end of the year, we have half a million Americans dead. The Lord is keeping you alive. Let's get connected to God's house. Stay with God's house. God's going to bless your life. Now, my Bible said the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Even in their old age, they're going to be all right. Raise your hands all over. Raise your hand right where you are online. Raise your hand right where you are. Put your hands all the way. Father, thank you for your people. Thank you for all those that are here tonight. Thank you for those that are on live stream. Thank you for those that are on Zoom. Thank you for those that receive the word. We're going to flourish. We break the curse of poverty. Oh, we break the curse of poverty. We break the curse of poverty. We break the curse of not enough. We break the curse of lack. Our souls will prosper. Our spirit will prosper. Our minds will prosper. Our lives will prosper. Our finances will prosper. Thank you for all your help. Bless your people. Lead them and guide them and help them. Help them to pay off that house. Help them to pay off the car. But most of all, help them to pay their vows to you and tell you how much they love you, how much they appreciate you. Thank you for the anointing of flourishing. We decree it tonight. We decree it over our church. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. We will not be silent. Silence is betrayal. Silence is treachery. Silence is evil. We're going to declare, the Lord is on my side. The Lord is my help. The Lord is my shield. In the name of Jesus. Come on right where you are. Just say it with me. Say, Lord, thank you for all your blessings. In the name of Jesus. Everybody say, Lord, thank you for keeping me alive in this season. Thank you, Lord, 
The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Get it in your spirit. Speak to that mountain. Speak to that situation. Speak to that problem. And declare, I'm anointed to flourish. You are anointed to flourish. The righteous, Psalms 92, verse number 12 says, The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. Thank you, Lord, for all your help in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody say amen. Oh, put your hands together right where you are. Thank you. So, Father, now we pray over our young children. We pray over our lost souls in our families. You got somebody in your family lost. We want to pray tonight. And we want you to call them, check on them, pray for them, encourage them, speak faith to them. And don't give up. Be gentle with them. And bring them along slowly. And watch how the anointing will get on their lives. And they'll turn their lives around. Don't be mean. Be gentle. Be kind. Be loving. Joshua 24, 15 says, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. In this season, we need to serve the Lord. You need to know who you're serving. We need to serve the Lord. We need to serve the Lord. May they spend eternity with the Lord. May they spend eternity. May their names be written in the Lamb's book of life. In the Lamb's book of life. You've never received Jesus Christ. Tonight we offer him to you. It's the greatest decision that you will ever make because it is about your soul. Jesus said, what will a man give in exchange for his soul? What will you give in exchange for your soul? Give your soul to Jesus. Live for him all the days of your life. And don't listen to the haters. Don't listen to those that are following the devil. Trust in the Lord. With all your heart, lean not to your own understanding. If you got somebody that you're believing God for, raise your hands with me. You got somebody you're trusting God for in your family, raise your hand. You got to reach out to them. You got to call them and check on them. And you got to pray for them. Be gentle and kind to them. Because the devil might have them bound up. And everybody say with me, say, Lord, we declare... As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Break the curse. Come on, say it again. Break the curse of living a sinful life. Say it again. Break the curse off of my loved ones that are living a sinful life. Tonight, we dedicate. Tonight, we rededicate. Tonight, we call them into the kingdom in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all your help. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody say amen. Will you put your hands together and just give the Lord a praise for his goodness and all of his mercy. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. We serve a big, a big God, and he loves you, and everything is going to be all right. You may be seated. Just know that God is a good God. But tonight, we want you to know tonight that you will flourish. You will flourish. God will bless you, and God will help you. God will bless you. You'll get through this pandemic, and he'll take care of you. Because my Bible says the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. And God will bless your life, and God will help you. The Spirit of a living God will come upon your life, and he will help you. Tonight, for those of you that give and support the work of the Lord, I just want to read for you Psalms 115. Verse number 12, the Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He'll bless the house of Aaron. He'll bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. The Lord shall increase you more and more. You and your children. The Lord, memorize that. Psalms 115 and verse number 14. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. If you are in the house of the Lord in this season, you are flourishing. God has blessed you. God has increased you because he always comes close. 
in the times of famine. He always come closer in the times of famine. He is a good God. And I want to encourage you, partner with the Lord in your finances. When you open your hand to God, he opened his supernatural hand to you. But when you close your hand to God, then you give him no choice but to close his hands to you. Because the Bible says you reap what you sow. And when you close your hands, you declare there will be no sowing for my life. And then your harvest is canceled. So I want to encourage you tonight. Go online and give a gift. Go to the mailbox and mail it in. And just know that God's going to bless you. And that God's going to help you. He says, the Lord shall increase you more and more. You and your children. And then I love Malachi. He said, I'll rebuke the devourer for your sake. There's a devil out there. And he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But we are here declaring that the Lord is going to increase us more and more. You and your children. Because God is a good God. Somebody out there ought to say amen. Raise your hands right where you are out there. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray big for their finances. I pray their income today will be their time tomorrow. I pray for widespread increase in every area of their lives. I pray for divine favor on their job, in their investments, in their family, in their health. Widespread favor. Somebody shout favor. Say it again, favor. And I pray something big and something good will happen in their lives. We cancel the assignment of the demonic forces. We cancel the assignment of bad bosses. We cancel the assignment of ungodly evil bosses. We cancel the assignment. Move, Father, move them. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody put it on the screen. Move them out of the way of the Christian. Somebody help me out. Put it on the screen. I sense it by the Holy Ghost. Move them. Oh! In Jesus' name, I pray. It's already in motion. It's already in motion. And then we pray. Raise your hand now. We pray for the million dollar miracle. We'll put you first. We'll partner with you. We'll love you with all of our lives. We declare tonight the million dollar miracle. Somebody put it on the screen. I declare the million dollar miracle over my life. I declare it. I declare it. Speak it over your life. Speak it over your family. Speak it over your children. Million dollar miracle over every member of Emmanuel Christian Center. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. Amen. God is a good God. He loves you and everything is going to be all right. And just know, don't forget the message. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. The word of the Lord to you tonight is you're going to flourish. No matter what happens in society, you are going to flourish. No matter what happens in life, you got to get that word down in your spirit. You're going to flourish. You may be having trouble on your job, but you're going to flourish. You got to begin to declare it out of your mouth. You got to begin to declare it out of your spirit. You got to begin to declare it out of your soul. You got to begin to bless the Lord from your soul that I'm going to flourish. The righteous shall flourish. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody say amen. God is a good God. Will you welcome Elder William Harris as he pronounced a blessing over us. I'll see you on Sunday morning. Got a great message for you. Got a great word for you. Church is essential in the life of the Christian. And the more we serve the Lord, the Bible said we will flourish like the palm tree. In Jesus' name we pray. God is good. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying on this wise, ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace and they shall put my name my name 
upon the children of Israel and upon the sons and the daughters of Emmanuel Christian Center and our will bless them father we receive your word tonight and the blessing of your word Lord we're gonna stay planted in your house we're gonna stay planted in you Lord God we're gonna stay stay planted and dedicated to you all the days of our life and we shall be blessed we declare blessings will come into every life of every person every individual in Jesus name we pray amen I need you you need me you need me we're all apart we're all apart about my stand with me stand with me agree with me agree with me we're all apart about my it is his